Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today is part three of how to disconnect from external energies. All right, there has been a delay in why I haven't done this. It's because I'm guilty of what I talk about. And I like being transparent. The last couple of days for me, like I'm going to go there with the last couple of weeks, it has been extremely hard for me to disconnect from what is going on. We are all in this now, right? Who is feeling like they're being attacked, like they're getting sick, like they've got head fog, brain fog, body aches, no, no energy at all. We are all going through this, okay? It is hard, but hopefully by me, I watch my own videos, so I give myself my own pep talks, and that's what I want to talk about today. And ha ha ha, you've got a sense of humor, like I know she has, because she always does things for a reason. The reason why I haven't been able to do a video for the past two days is because ha ha ha, today I'm going to teach you how not to be like I've been for the past two days. So how do we do this? First of all, when we disconnect from external forces, we have to identify our own energy force, okay? So I was actually just sitting out the back in the sun trying to warm up because it's freezing still, we're in winter here. And I would close my eyes and I was imagining myself inside my body. This is a good one, guys, okay? So you imagine yourself inside your body so you can feel your face. You can feel the back of your head behind you. You can feel your arm to your left. You feel your right, right arm. You can feel your legs coming out of this inner being of what we are, okay? So I was just sitting outside meditating and do going within myself and this is how we do it we imagine we close our eyes so we can't see but then we feel our nose we feel the back of our head we feel where our ears are on the side of our heads and we realize that we are inside ourselves when we are inside ourselves is when we can connect to who we are and disassociate from everything else around us so the first thing that I'm going to talk about here, because there's three, right? There's three before I go into techniques of how to calm down, because I'm going to do that one today as well. Actually, I might do that as a separate video, okay? So what do we do? There's three steps here. I like closing my eyes and feeling myself inside me, okay? First one is pay attention to just you. So I've just put my finger up. So if I close my eyes and I can feel my finger going up and down, so now I'm only paying attention to what I am doing. I am aware of every exhale and inhale. I am aware that my hair is tickling my face. I am aware that my feet are warm inside my Ugg boots because it's cold here. And look, I've got my Ugg boots on. Okay, so I'm aware of everything about my body. So... If you're not sure of how to do this, you start at your toes. So you feel, you close your eyes and you just feel your toes. You wiggle your toes and you think, wow, I can feel my toes wiggle. Then you go up to your ankles and you bend your foot. So now you can feel your ankle. Then you tense up your calf and your leg. So you, you feel your calf. Then you tense up your knee and you think, wow, that's my knee. I can feel my knee. And you go up to your hips. You go up to your torso. You go up into your the bottom of your torso. You come up into your lungs. You feel the neck. You feel your shoulders, your bicep, your elbows, your um, arm here, and your wrist and your, each individual finger. So this is a good way of connecting and paying attention just to us. Because once we can identify, okay, I can feel my toes, I can feel my fingers, I can feel the hair, it's still tickling my face, and I can feel my ear. Because now we're not paying attention to other things. 
we're shutting it down and only paying attention to us. So that's the first one. Pay attention to yourself. Second one is consult yourself. Now, I read this like 40 odd years ago where they said really smart people talk to themselves. And I thought, well, I must be really smart because I talk to myself nonstop every day. Okay, so this is number two. Start talking to yourself, even if it's only on the inside of your head. Okay, because this is how we work things out. So we consult with ourselves. And you say things like, I've got to go to the shop today. Is it in my best interest to walk or drive? Is it in my best interest to make a list and only buy what's on the list or just go in there and just say, I'll just, I'll take whatever today. Is it in my best interest to take my card or just take cash so I don't have to spend that money? So we consult with ourselves. We talk to ourselves and you think about the answer. Should I go to the shop today? Huh, maybe I shouldn't. I should just stay here and stay warm. Yeah, that would be the best solution. So we talk to ourselves and we consult with ourselves. I'm feeling a bit cold. Should I go and get a jacket? Oh, that's a no-brainer, isn't it? (laughs) But we ask ourselves what we should do. This is consulting with yourself. Should I start this new interest? Should I start this new job? Should I start seeing that new person? Because you trust your gut. If you get these gut feelings of, ugh, like you're going to throw up or, oh God, I'm so nervous. I don't think, I, I don't know what it is about. So now we go back to paying attention to us. Number one on the list, pay attention. Because if you're there saying, oh, well, I've got no money today. Maybe I should go and buy a horse. <laughs> Just because I've always wanted a horse. So you sit there and you think, really, Linda? Horse is like a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand dollars. You haven't got any money. Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to feed it? Where is it going to sleep? How big the hole do you have to do if it dies? That sort of stuff. So we talk to ourselves and we consult ourselves. And then if it doesn't feel like a right decision, because we always pay attention to ourselves, and you get these really weird little telltale signs, don't do that, Linda. Pay attention to them. To go with your gut if it feels right. Okay? Now, the last one is support yourself. So how do we support ourselves? Imagine you've got a friend that's going through everything that you're going through at this point. What would you say to that friend? What would you say to make them feel safe, secure, wanted and loved? And then you say it to yourself, which is part two. Consult yourself, which is also part one, because you're paying attention to yourself. So all these three all actually do go together okay so we pay attention look out for any like body aches or oh my god my head hurts today I've got a headache or oh wow I don't know why I've got the shakes today and then you talk to yourself okay what could be doing this is my blood sugars dropping is it because I just have this weird feeling that something ominous is going to happen or am I cold so you talk to yourself and you work it out Because the more we pay attention to us, the less we're paying attention to what else is going on around the planet, okay? This is how we stay centered. This is how we start to feel, which is an emotion, which I've said in part one and two, right? This is how we start feeling a better emotion about ourselves. We start to feel good. So it gets rid of depression, it gets rid of anxiety. Depression's based on the past, anxiety is based on the future events, okay? So we disconnect from the past, we disconnect from the future, and we concentrate on now, paying attention to ourselves now. What's my breathing like? What's my head feeling like? Should I go and have a sleep? Am I hungry? Oh, I think I've got to go poo. Oh, oh, see? We work it out by paying attention to ourselves. Then consult yourself. Talk to yourself and work it out. Is this a good idea for me? If I don't do it, what else could I do? 
where else could I go? So we ask ourselves these questions and then we answer them. Well, if you don't want to go there today, well, how about we could go there? Oh, I didn't realise we could go there. Yeah, it's a nice sunny day. Yeah, I might go there instead of there. Good job, Linda. So we talk to ourselves, okay? Next one again, support yourself. Always give yourself that encouragement. Always give yourself that support, that love and that feeling of being valued that you would give to your friend, okay? All right, so that is how we totally disconnect from other sources and we're now paying attention to who we are, okay? Now, some of you may be having trouble sleeping at this point. Some of you may be having trouble with anxiety. So I'm going to shut this video down. I'm going to upload it to YouTube and I'm going to do another one on meditation techniques to calm us down. Okay, if you've liked this video today, I've now got a link, it's below in the description, where if you've liked it, you can buy me a coffee. Okay, so I'm going to put the description in there of where you can go. It's called buymeacoffee.com with my name after it. So if you do want to buy me a coffee as a thank you, as a gratitude of the advice that I give, because it's all free advice, it's up to us whether we take it or not, right? Um, yeah, you can go and buy me a coffee or two, okay? So the link's below. So I'm going to sh shut this one down and I'll come back and I'll do a video today about how to relax, how to stop this anxiety that we've all got. <laughs> so I hope you stay around for that one, okay? Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.